Welcome! This video shows you how to attach a halter monitor to a dog. This photo shows the main supplies you should have ready. They include methylated spirits or medical alcohol, paper towels or a normal towel, test kit from your halter supplier, sports or medical tape, ultrasound gel, Unisolve adhesive remover, a pair of scissors, a pen, and the halter monitor recorder itself. If you're going to shave your dog before monitoring, do those strips for where the electrodes go ahead of the day. You need to thoroughly clean the area where the electrodes will go, using the alcohol to remove all the natural oils and dirt. Make sure it's dried thoroughly afterwards. Here we are opening up the package of electrodes that come with the test kit supplied by your monitor salesperson. You should have sufficient electrodes to go with the type of monitor you use. In this case, we're using a seven lead monitor. I recommend trimming the electrodes the particular brand supplied with my kits is a little bit bigger than needed and the bigger the electrode is, the more very strong glue you have to try to remove afterwards. Here's a close-up of the area that I'm trimming off the electrodes. Here I'm applying a small dab of ultrasound gel to the centre of each electrode. This isn't 100% necessary but it can improve the connection. You need to press very firmly when placing the electrode on the dog. Last thing you want is for the electrodes to fall off. Be careful when applying the gel not to put too much, as I have in this one. Removing the excess, because we don't want the gel to interfere with the adhesive on the electrode. You don't want the electrodes to fall off. And that's also why when applying them, pressing very firmly. For the particular monitor we're using here, it has four electrodes on the left side. So we continue this process repeating for all four electrodes on the left hand side. You can see here how much trouble I'm taking to make sure that those stickers are firmly attached. We don't want the electrodes to fall off during the recording. If you don't have ultrasound gel, you can use KY jelly instead. It will also have the same effect. Now this next step will depend very much on the type of vest or harness you use. In this case, we need to thread our electrode leads through a hole that's been designed to keep them well secured during the monitoring. We do this before putting the vest on the dog. Here's a quick close-up of another dog just to show those electrodes in position. Now we need to consult the instructions that came with the particular monitor. You need to look really carefully to see for both left and right side what colour electrodes to put in which position. You need to first make sure the leads are tangle free. We don't want any tension on the lead that might pull the electrode sticker away from the body. So we want them to be loose, untangled and able to move freely. You need to press quite firmly to click each electrode onto the lead and do them as directed by the instructions.
Why don't you take it? Why don't you take it? Take it in a ride. Right to your heart. Ooh. I'm now placing tape over the electrodes, having first turned the heads of the leads into the direction where I'm wanting the slack of the leads to go. So I just twist the electrode connectors so that they're facing slightly upwards to about 10 past 2 on the clock. And I place, place tape over them to help keep those electrodes in position, stop them coming loose. The particular tape I'm using on this side is a hypoallergenic sports tape. It's got good adhesive properties while still being breathable and unlikely to irritate even a sensitive dog's skin. Once again, make sure you press firmly. Here's some close-up still photos to show that process a little closer and what they should look like after taping. Now we're simply repeating the process on the right hand side. The seven lead recorder that we're using here requires three electrodes on the right hand side. And now, once again, consult your instructions. It's very important to get them right. Put the appropriate colour in each position. Once again, we're going to be taping over those electrodes. And first, just making sure that the leads are pointing in the right direction. In this case, I'm using just regular elastoplast medical tape. The next part of the process after we've taped everything down can vary depending on what kind of vest or harness you're using. For us, we're going to be putting the vest over the head of the dog and then get ready to deal with the recorder. What makes me wonder? It's a matter of taking, in this case we have an analogue machine, out of its cover This is the test kit that the particular brand I'm using comes with. We take the cassette, having put the patient's name and the date on it, remove the plastic tags, insert the tape into the machine, just showing the mechanism for this particular recorder. Click it into place, take the plastic tag off the battery, insert the battery into position. We should now be able to see the tape moving very slowly. It's much slower than a normal tape recorder. You should also be able to hear it slowly whirring, and that's your confirmation that it is going. The clock on the outside of these machines isn't particularly important so long as the machine is moving. 
Now I'm just going to put the machine back in the pocket briefly on this vest because we still need to tidy up the leads. So this is just temporarily putting it out of the way, keeping it secure. You can see we've got a lot of loose wires hanging around at the moment. And so the next step will be to tidy those up a little. Using the same sports tape or medical tape, winding it around the leads to keep them tidy. You can also tape the leads to the side of the dog to keep them in position. But what's absolutely critical is to leave slack in those leads. I leave that big loop that you can see there to ensure that when the dog moves the leads aren't being pulled tight against them. So that nice loop I've left there will ensure they're not too tight. Here's a close-up photo of the operation that I've just done, taping up the leads to keep them tidy but without pulling them tight. And here we are again doing them on the dog on the other side this time, the left hand side. Simply a tidying operation, but making sure that there's plenty of slack in the leads near to where the electrode stickers are, so that when the dog moves, those leads don't get pulled tight and end up pulling the electrode away from the body. With the vest like the one that Storm is wearing in this video, all those leads are well hidden. We've put the monitor in its case. Everything's secure, can't get snagged on anything. However, with this particular design, we can undo the sides and have a peek and if necessary, tape leads out of the way. Storm's perfectly content. She's been a very patient model. She's now ready for a bit of a well-deserved rest. And while she's doing that, her owners can fill in the patient diary, the time of starting, the date, and it's all finished.